Hello everyone, welcome to Simon Tools. Today Simon coming to the service of the Coil Master pass load Coil Master. Very common problems: a uh, jam the nails into the barrel here, and uh, normally jam in here where the nail go in here and uh, broken the pin. So today it's broken the pins and uh, the pin gone. So what I have to do is uh, try to open up and repair, replace the new pins and service the gun. It's very dirty and uh, very handy too for someone who do ceiling or chip rock. But uh, very common happens like uh, always broken the jam the pin and broken the pins. So if they jam the nail, good luck. For this model, when the roll coming in, they decide why it's always jammed because when the roll coming in, when they try to undo the roll this way, like a bullet rolls, the gap of the um, where they're holding the nail, they open a little bit. So they go in here and then they open the gap so they don't close the nail properly. Sometimes they go in here, the nail is sit in the wrong position and where you shoot and then the trouble is there. So most very common happens. Um, Good luck and anyone got one like this, okay? But uh, what my job today is just try to prepare and service. First of all, it's very strong bolt where you have to undo some very strong bolt first before you take it off. <coughs> some Allen key, super strong, will be these four bolts here, very strong. These four bolts, you can do by just by gun. You have to using a little bar like this, okay? I show you how to take it up and super pump on the tool. So be careful. Don't use any other impacts because uh, any impacts can go in here, okay? So get the very decent, very decent good size for this one and knock it on. In all the way, make sure it's in all the way and use this one and use your power. See? See how strong it is? You never get it out by red gun, okay? Gotta be careful. Gotta have a bar because it's had a very long bolt here and big, and it's had the uh, super strong lock tight. So make sure to snap this on in all the way. Like that. And this bar is remove torch. <clears throat> you see? Ah, see? Super tight. So be careful, okay? Hopefully come out. Yes. Oh, you see? This great tons. Okay, loosen more out. And uh, I make this one for myself in the impacts. Much easier. Yeah, that's it. That's it. The, that's the four bolt in the coil gun. It's super tight. So have to using this skill. So without this skill, you can't get it out. Leave everything on until you loose all this one off first. Until it's all go loose. See now, it's all loose. So now I can take up from here. This one you can take up now. This one, put them back together. And take this one off. This one you can clean or wash or whatever to after you. Turn around. No gas in here. And this one, it just go pick on here. Top one, pick on here. And this side, pick on here. Don't don't pull it out and you may break one of the jaws here. Will be trouble. It's crunchy plastic. Here. It feels so still alright. It got a little hole, but uh, I don't have any uh, spare one. And this one, undo from here. Get the uh, little picks. Pick this one out, like this one. See the O-ring, put away. And then do it all the way out. Remember the target here, go in here, see the target. Later we put them back in the, put them back in the same way. See the dot of the target. So, later when you put it back, you can put either way, this one, this way, this way, 
but go into target better. Put it there. Okay, now we can take off this one. Okay, go like that, and this one should be come out for cleaning. And now we have to take up this one before we remove this one. So this top one, see this one? There. This one other side. There. Don't tilt. Don't tilt it out like a past load farming. Leave it there. Don't touch it yet. And do this one. This one you have to using a lot of tools, so uh, all different kinds of tools, all different size, like that, and twenty. Okay, that's it, and we can lift this one back up like this one. Oh, they got the screw here. Get the knife, cut it up, and later you can put it back, make it nice and tidy, and look good for them. See, like that. Okay, and then done. So that's the thing they're holding the plastic. Take it out too. Later we may have to grab the new one for them. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's small trauma. Oh, they want to make the mark here just for themselves to know which one is which. Okay, let's just stick the. Okay, look carefully on the main board. The wire for the magnet the pull and uh, magnet for pull the trigger automatically loading, reloading the nails. This is where it go in. Take off here. Sneak along here. See this one? Take off here. And it go behind here and sneak around here and go. Now we can take off the whole lot. Okay. Okay, that's it. So turn so the fan still good because you can see check the uh, lead here if it's still working good but hopefully it's new gun it should be good it's the new gun put it there for washing and only one design in australia go through here by using here or if you can have buy a set that using by red gun oh shit it's still hot See, this is what I'm talking about. It's very strong. See, red Loctite, super strong. Quicker this way, okay? Sometimes when you do something, we have to make ourselves tools to make things go quicker instead of you have to stand there all day. This one, sneak around here, take it out, and check this one. If it's if it's hard, there must be something jammed in the bearings inside where they push up and down. You have to freely. If it, you push it like this, it freely is good. But if it's hard, you have to repair it because this is very important for reloading the nail. If this one faulty, the nail wouldn't be loading. Or you can buy another motor or put in whatever it is. This is just the two wire power to make the magnet to suck and push it up and down. Okay, and that's it. Go like this and pick it up from there. Okay, put away for cleaning. Okay, moment of truth is here. You see the whole barrel here, right? Sometimes this one loose the bolt here too. See, it start to wobbling loose. Anyway, we, when we do full service, we have to do the good job. So this one, see, later put some lock tight because this one very easy loose and uh, broken out. See, see? very easy come up. So no force in there because the bolt's been loose uh, later, lock tight. The spring, this one. One good thing about this one, the spring here, never broken this shit here. Anyway, now we can take it up like, just pull it out like that. And of course we go for cleaning, put in the bucket. And uh, moment of truth in here. Take up the piston for cleaning. And the piston is broken, not a bit is broken. This is brand banking new one for you to compare this and that one. You see the difference? They've been 
see the different they've been broken and snap. Why don't I welding a little metal like this and cut them same length? Can we do that? You do it, I don't do it, okay? Because it's the special strong steel and uh, very special, you welding, and one shot can be snapped and broken straight away. Especially, this is stainless steel. So they, they got the strength, but they're strong, they're strong, but they don't have a strength. So no, no point for welding, okay? Just throw away. And this is the brain banking new. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now I have to wash it and see, clean all the shit out, see all the dust and dirty and inside, dry. So, have to clean up and uh, put it back together and the gun will be complete. All part been washed and clean. It look like brand banking new. Basically in here, no more dust or anything. Here, see, nice brand new. Now we put back together. So everything we have to do now, we put them back together. So first thing first, diagonal the, see the O-ring gap and then put some pastel oil. See, put some in because I don't know why this was too dry. If from the factory out, it's come out too dry. It doesn't matter which way they go. They go in like that. And now rings, the third clip go on next down here so I can dip my bolt into the Loctite. It's okay. Put the Loctite there. Okay, this one, this one, this one. So still the same. Diagonal the rings. Put about three drops of go in the position where is this one where the groups here for the spring just slide in but just put the spring in here and this one just go on the top like that and into the clip there what we do is like that see this little bolt here very important we need to dip a bit of lock tight go like that and it's very hard to hold like that see I tight on the bolt see on here now we put one by one on first okay one and here two make sure you have lock tight otherwise it will come up for pump in like that okay we are uh, going to the next one this one have to set it into the gap here like that okay go like that see it came out no good and put this one on this one okay like that okay when you see the level surface here they go in the group itself so you go in so you go in and this one go in and this one so you can put this one down like that Okay, this one next, see this one will be next. It's only one position to go. This one, got a little group there. All we do is just go in there, tinkle it, tinkle around on the top one, go down and go in. And uh, yeah, the, the pin should go through the little hole here, okay? So same old way, same shit, different smell. Changing this one. Now this time we don't need this, we don't need the this time we don't need the allen key no more. what we need the uh, yeah each time you do each one make sure you put lock tight lock tight in so dip the lock tight into the cap you know the water caps water bottle caps and then put lock tight there so that will be safe your lock tight then you can use them again and again or you do it just filled up so okay like that <coughs> Just uh, now firmly, evenly, come on. So not too tight. See like that. So firmly in, and it will be on even. When it's on even, you can go like that, like that, like that. Yeah, very evenly. They go in perfectly. Okay, we still need to make sure the the look man like brain banking new. And this one been washed good, but what I do is tilt around like this. Have a few go with it. Make sure there's some puzzle oil go in. 
now we can have a bit of oil here make it loops really good okay now turn around this side very easy see that's how you repair and uh, this is the easy part because they are just replace the new piston if it's broken it's good but they are uh, uh, when we got something that's stuck uh, we will show you how to do it but uh, trust me not many people how to get up the uh, broken 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 nail inside so it's very hard so try to plan for you is really difficult because uh, when the nails broken and stuck in here and take it up is a uh, big big problem Okay, go like that, leave it like that. Okay, same way out, same way in. So this one, go on position, go in here. And slide down like that, okay? Like that, for thumb in. You don't want to move moving, put this one over here. So it will lock it coming out, see? So I do this way first because I, want, I don't want to come up. So I cut that pin, go over here. Stop this one moving up, in and out, so max even. Okay, now I can do whatever I want, is sneak this one back in. How to get out, how to get back in, with the curve. See the circle, and this one, and this one, and go in, and here, see. That's how to get out, that's how to get back in, into the position, like that. Go in behind here, see. And this one, go on, push it down. See, let's see uh, the position, and the switch should be working like that. It's not touching here or here, and not locking, engaging the gear. What we do is quickly move this one, don't touch it, like that, like that. Okay, and what I do is like that. So, slide this one. Slide this one on. See, they're on. And it's automatically in on itself position. First thing first, I lock this one here. So that will keep everything on place. Okay, now I turn around. I can put this one here. So like this. <coughs> and now yeah, you can just uh, hold the back like this. Hold the back one. So like that, that's it. And uh, everything is done. And this will be next oh, in the groups. So make sure it's on the position, up, in and out, see? Make sure it can be closed, in and out, and then turn around. Okay, we put this one in quickly. one very high impact gun so put a bit of block tight so they don't come up into here to here and that's it what we do is uh, turn around put this one out first like this a diagonal push it down okay like that Okay, we're done, and uh, we can put the air filter back on. Push, should be on braces. Okay, now we like this one. This one, remember, this one, remember the target up there, not here, so people can know where the target is. Holding like that, and slide on like that. And it, this one, just like that. Push, 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 done. That's it. And last one. Last one is this one. To go like that. And all we do is just slide in. Open up this one if you wish. Like that. Put the palm in up. Like that. Go on, like that. 
and using this one like that. That's it. That's it. Like now we got the brain banking new full service the gun. Put it back like that. Okay. Now for a test shot, the special feeding. Go on. Because this gas is very hard to push, that's why when you got the fueling, you got the fueling of this gun pushed really hard because the gas is very strong. <clears throat> this one go in the lid. Go like that. Okay, and done. So this one very see it's very hard to push because uh some people say why it's so hard because it's the weight design, the spring and the gas very hard, so they want you 100 percent always push it down when you shoot. So that's why safety. So they make what you guys to do 100% short for example. See? No, I have a short put there. And right here. See this one? When I shoot, you see the piston will come down. You see? Look at this one. How I shoot? So the piston go down all the way and this one moving up so they can load in the nail so that's how it should work okay perfect this one fully serviced and we play piston by salmon today hope you guys out there have the same coil master and uh this is how I service and replace the piston. Should be very helpful for everyone if uh, you got the same one and have a trouble. Hopefully you guys out there and um, can save you some money. Thanks for watching Simon 2. See ya.